And spin is actually a little tricky because spin can be used in a number of ways on both offense and defense. But spin is kind of like adding salt, sugar, vinegar to food. It, it really accentuates whatever you're trying to do. Okay, whether it's defense or offense. So let's talk about first, well, let's talk about slice and then let's talk about top spin. So there are, so slice really helps you in many ways. First, defensively, it, it, it slows the ball down. And the, the fact that when it's coming forward and it, it sits the ball up, although you might think, hey, the ball's sitting up on, on, on a higher defensive slice, if you hit a, a more defensive slice and it sits up, it actually takes the pace off the ball it makes your opponent generate more of their power, okay? So if you hit a higher defensive slice you know, from back here, you know, if, if you hit a higher defensive slice, maybe not at the pro level, okay, but, well, even even the pros hit more, more of, a, of a defensive slice with more spin and less pace, it slows the ball down to help you recover, gets you back in the court and you play great defense with that type of slice. Now, the other type of slice that, that accentuates the effect is if you hit an aggressive slice. If you hit an aggressive slice, again, you aren't gonna typically hit a winner with a slice, but that aggressive slice can keep the ball extremely low. So if you're using it as an offensive weapon, you can really knife that ball and you can come in off that ball. Because see, it skids and stays low and you can put the next ball down, right? Again, because you aren't taking the pace off, so it has a different effect, right? Your opponent can still use the pace of that slice, but they just have to pick that ball up by their shins to get the ball by you. Whether it's an approach or whether you're using that ball to set up for your backhand cross court for direction or what have you, but the spin accentuates that. All right, now let's get to some tangible examples of how to use spin effectively, of starting with the slice. Now, I do have to say though that spin is a little bit more subtle because oftentimes it's blended with direction, depth, and power, but nonetheless, we're gonna to try to show you here. And so one thing to, to note before we begin, in this, in this match, when we went out to record, I played the entire match using slices because normally I don't use spin much in my game, but I force myself to do it. For example, you're going to see a lot of aggressive slices. It's also good for the student to learn how to deal with different types of players. Now, in this first point, you're going to see a, a spin serve out wide to the backhand. The movement is hard for to attack it, and they really knife that slice. Look how low that ball gets. It's so hard to attack and counter punch off that slice. So the next few points are going to see certain volleys where he's that slice there, right, with spin. And oftentimes you're going to see with these volleys, I, I can't win with power per se. So I'm going to win with spin and go a little easier on the power, right? And now I use that spin to keep the ball low. My opponent's option, if he, if he doesn't want to take a huge amount of risk and go for a winner, well, then he's going to have to hit it back to my strike zone. But that it's really, it's, everything is set up from that initial slice. Now, one more thing to note when you're hitting these offensive slices, you're going to see the point start here, but when you can get that low slice down to your opponent's backhand, now a, a one-handed forehand or a one-handed backhand has a lot more uh, range, okay, in terms of their strike zone. That, that two-handed backhand, if you get them reaching it off balance, it is tough, tough, tough to handle the aggressive slice low to the backhand. Spin, now we're going to go into top spin, but spin in general, I'm talking about spin on your serve, even a slice spin, anything. It, it helps the ball move and wiggle through the air, so your opponent just can't hit it quite as clean. If the spin protects you, all right? Now, obviously, when you're hitting spin, you have less margin hitting the ball. And what do I mean by that? Well, really, if, if you're brushing the ball here versus, versus hitting you flat, you can hit very through the ball easily. You have a very clean contact. But if you're brushing the ball here, well, it's almost like you're, you have less room to hit topspin here. You see that? But again, you, you get the benefit of being more precise here. You get the benefit of more margin over the net, especially if you're hitting topspin. And you get that movement on the ball, which is tough for your opponent to deal with. Topspin is a little bit different of a beast. One thing you can do with topspin is get the ball up and up and down in your opponent's strike zone. So even just a normal ground stroke, 
it moves the ball up and down a little bit more. So thank you for tuning in. Actually, this was the preview video from the online accelerator program on spin. Because we've already covered direction, depth. Now the next one obviously will be power, right? The five ways to hurt your opponent. And at least with this preview series, I wanted to at least touch on a little bit of everything. Obviously, we're going to go much deeper in the program, in the actual program. So to all the members, you know, we're you know, I'm just going to ping you guys and see, you know, what you think of these videos and getting feedback and uh, what I'm going to do for the next series of videos to add to the online accelerator program library of videos. So it's going to keep growing. I'm really excited. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe if you haven't yet already. So the next video, um, you won't miss it for sure. So thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Hope this helps your game. Okay, the next time you're playing and we'll see you on the next video.